again, we're we're knowing and understanding we can't do this on our own, that we need you, oh God. So we thank you that you are always on time, that you're always with uh, those that love you, those that are called according to your word. So we know that you are here with us right now. So we want to say thank you, Holy Spirit. We will open the doors for you to have your way. Speak to us, lead us, guide us, and help us to stay strong to do your will. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 And if Marcia, you'll do uh, section 41, Article 41, Section 2. Thank you, Connie. Article 41. Father God, we sibling members are here to guide and comfort all your children when they are in need. Help us to do our jobs as your chaplains and to always acquit themselves as a devoted UAW member. This is founded in our Constitution, Article 41, Section 2. Amen to the Father, amen to the Son, amen to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Marcia. Amen. And with that, we introduce our International Chaplaincy Executive Board, starting with Jerry Carson. Thank you, Connie. Hello, chaplains. I want to bring you greetings from President Sean Fain and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families. Being a salt and a light, meeting people where they are, loving on them, sharing the good news, and giving them hope. Just like uh, Sister Helena, and Sister Marcia just now leading us off too with our 41 section two in the prayer. You know, there is a lot going on around everyone, but, but God is the calm in the storm and we just turn it over to him because it's too big for us. So. And I know uh, we talked earlier in the week on Wednesday about the shooting that happened uh, at the parade uh, for Kansas City Chiefs, a celebration. I'm um, just asking for, for the chaplains to continue to hold hold on to God. And I know I'm preaching to the choir. No matter what's happening, no matter what's going on in this chaotic world, God sets high and looks low, and He has He has us. And we don't understand so much, like. Uh, mentioned about the 15 year old that got shot at the Weston Hotel. Yeah. The 11 year old was sleeping on, I think it was her auntie's uh, couch. She was home visiting for the, and uh, uh, sleeping on the couch. And uh, they're reporting today that they're going to, her mom's going to take her off life support. Uh, so I, and we just hear these so often. And we just got to turn it over to God because it's too big for us. But let us not, us men, the men, let us not stop holding on to God and protecting those around us and uplifting the women and the children. We must do that. Uh, and I, uh, you know, I, I want to, I'll, I'll share this with you. And I know today it says conference update. If Elder wants me and Connie wants me to do an update, I'll do that. But, you know, I just wanted with all these shootings and, you know, one day uh, where Elder lives, he, he, he's he uh, got little cash, little grandbaby. And she's seen, they were doing resurfacing a, a parking lot. And they put the caution tape around it. You know what she said? And she's a baby. She said, somebody got killed there. That's her experience with seeing that type of tape and that yellow caution tape. And that's what our children, I know every one of us can speak to. I, I've lost several friends and family. There's a, the devil's time is short devil's time is short and Jesus conquered all and he he's he conquered the death and the grave he's going to bring us home I'm going to turn it over to you uh love you chaplains and if you want me to speak more on the 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 uh 
the the letter the, the call letter should be going out today uh, that's it's in the process of being delivered and i'm going to send elder a copy of the draft just so he has it in his hands too and connie i'll make sure love you chaplains i'm turning over to elder that breaks my heart the little baby say somebody got killed i got good news for you carson i got good news for you Cash has a hard time, chaplains, getting up in the morning. We have to get her up at 5.30 because that's the way the school system has it. Uh, today she wasn't feeling me, Janine. She just, uh, Poppy, just let me be. I'm sleepy. And... Uh, I looked at the clock, Pastor, and I said, I can give her five more minutes, but I got it. That's all she can get. And as I went into the, Jerry, you're going to like this. As I went into the kitchen to get her some milk, I heard her laying down and, and Geneva. I wrote this down. I wrote this down. And this is what it said. This is what she was singing. I'm ready for sunshine. I'm ready for rain. I'm ready for joy. I'm ready for pain. It's a beautiful day. And she started getting dressed. And she said, Poppy, I'm still sleepy, but I'm ready for sunshine. I'm ready for rain. I'm ready for joy. I'm ready for pain. It's a beautiful day. Her school has taught her that. And, and, and the clothes is off, she says. University Academy, that's the goodness inside of me. They teaching her positive things. That's what we have to do to overcome a lot of this negativity in the world. Are you ready for sunshine? Are you ready for rain? Are you ready for joy? Are you ready? It's a beautiful day. If a five-year-old can wake up in a sleep at the top of a morning, and that's registered in her spirit, why can't we overcome some of this stuff? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And 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 she did get in the car, Sister Tina. Hello. I have to hang up on these robo calls. I don't know why I answer them. I really don't. Oh, I know my all goodness, they are get, terrible. Oh, uh, I know. I know everybody get them, but we got to answer them because it may just be one time where somebody needs us. But don't do like Brother Herb do. Brother Herb will click them off in a minute. Oh, y'all do the same thing. I feel much better. <laughs> hey, uh, Carson, you okay today? Uh, it's time to hear from them. It's time to hear from you guys. Um, let's do a roll call. Before we do, I want to acknowledge Region 1 because I know Region 1 is having a meeting. Uh, is it tomorrow, Geneva? Yes, tomorrow. And to that's 10 to 12. 12. Yes. Go ahead on. Tomorrow, 10 to 12, um, 
we are gonna, I think we, we're having a, a, a workshop on uh, the um, suicide tomorrow at region one. Okay, I mean. okay. Uh, it, is Brother Robert on the call this morning? Is his assistant, um, Scott? Scott. Are, yes, Scott, are you on the call? Yes, I'm on the call, Elder. What's going on tomorrow with the region? We will be having a, a training on uh, suicide awareness. Uh, tomorrow from uh, 10 a.m. to 11.15, and then we'll be having Lewis training for the second half of the meeting. Okay. On tomorrow Thank morning from 10 to 12. So um, it looked like we're going to have a pretty good turnout. How often, uh, Scott, if I, may, if I may ask, how often... Do you guys uh, have regional meetings? We have quarterly regional meetings uh, in person. And of course, uh, we may have emergency meetings in between, <laughs> okay. depending on what's going on. Okay, that's awesome. Have you invited Jerry Carson to these meetings? There you go, shaking his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Elder. Yes, sir. Brother Robert always makes sure he lets me know. And brother, brother Scott, he's the same. But and then uh, their liaison, brother David Inman, he stresses uh, to me. He says, Jerry, I, you know, I got this going, I got that going, but anything we're doing at the region, you're always welcome. That's Brother David Enman, their uh, liaison also. That is awesome. We just, uh, uh, Robert does always uh, let us know. And um, uh, being in Detroit, uh, meeting quarterly is something that you guys do regularly regularly and, and you have off off the cuff meetings like the bereavement groups and uh, all kinds of things you guys are involved in without the international uh, being a, uh, a part of which is good which is good because similar to what the Bible tells us, it's what we try to do in chaplaincy from the international level. Uh, we try to take the scripture to support whatever we do. And when the scripture tells us, you better work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, I take that in this area to say, hey, reason, take care of your own business. Take care of yourselves. Don't wait till a Black Lake conference. Handle your business. Take care of your membership. That's all I'm saying. And we love you guys for that. So with that being in mind, I see my numbers are jumping this morning. So let's do a roll call. And let's acknowledge Sharon. Uh, these, these secretaries on their post. There she is, y'all. We recognize the secretaries. God bless you. Secretary. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much. God bless you all. I'm glad God to be here. You. I'm glad I got in, too. Yes, <laughs> I wasn't able to join you guys on Wednesday. I've been extremely busy, but I'm going to try as much as I can to be on every Wednesday and Friday. And blessings to you all. That's mm -hmm. love. That's love. Hey, Elder. Yes, sir. Sister Sharon is doing her regular responsibilities plus Emma, so she is super. And I just keep on letting her know, you know I, I, so don't be stressed, and God's got you, and, and, and we'll help too wherever. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Our conference theme is to stand up yeah. and be and ready. Be ready. <laughs> 
I'm ready for sunshine. I'm ready for rain. I'm ready for joy. I'm ready for pain. It's a beautiful day. That's my song, y'all. That's my song. That's my song. Of course, I was trying to sing it with my uh, granddaughter this morning, and she says, Poppy, you don't know the words. I'll just sing. So I said, <laughs> <laughs> I just said, hey, a uh, roll call. Let's do this real quick. Region one. Roll call. Region one. Angie Green. Okay. Local 1796. Wayne County Community College District. Present. Active. Geneva Murph. Local 961. Active retiree. Delatis. Robert Arrington. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, Robert. No, no, go ahead, please. Scott Arrington, local 2280, chairman of the local assistant co-chair or a uh, coordinator for the region, active for Motor Company. Robert Goldstein, yes. Jr., local 653, General Motors, no for Proven Grounds, Chaplaincy Chair for Local 653, Regional Coordinator for Region 1. You want to be Local 12, Active, uh, Stellantis, and I, I want to say Proverbs 1722, a joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Amen. 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 Hey, let's park right here for a minute and... Uh, it always do my heart when E1 do a prayer for us because we're reaching out globally. We don't realize it, but we are. We have had a comment from places that just blow my mind. So E1, uh, can you do a prayer like you always do? And then we're going to turn it over to Brother Robert Gosen uh, for words. E1, please. Yes, sir. Our Father, we come before you with a joyful heart this afternoon, and we thank you for the many blessings, Father. Tatăl nostru care ești în ceruri, venim înaintea ta și îți mulțumim pentru binecuvântările și toată protecția care ne-o dai în fiecare zi, Doamne. Te rugăm, Doamne, să fii cu fiecare muncitor, Doamne, te rog să fii cu um, cei din conducere din sindicat, Doamne, păzește pe fiecare de la înțelepciune și ocrotirea ta, Doamne. Cerem, Doamne, ca să ne dai și nouă înțelepciune ca și capilan, ca să-ți facem voia ta și să slăvim pe tine toată viața în veșveci. Amin. Amen. 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 Brother Robert. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, uh, one thing, Chaplain, is uh, we always have to recognize our elder because uh, he is definitely a UAW man, and we are international. And so when he does that, it just warms my heart because we reach all people, you know. And if you got a language, uh, if you speak another language, y'all need to let Elder know so we can get them prayers in also because we touch all people. Uh, tomorrow we will be having our quarterly our quarterly meeting at the region, and we have some people coming in to certify us on suicide awareness. Uh, we do have a web ask that will be done. And what they asked, they asked me yesterday, they had a meeting yesterday, and they asked that we can get a, a, a roll call of them people so they can send them the certificates for certification. I thought that was just a wonderful thing. You can be on the web ask and still get the same certification that we're getting right there in person. And I have to thank Jerry and, and her for directing us in that in that uh, lane and also to have uh, our liaison and our director to let us do that. You know, but everything was done and I have to say decent and in order. And I just thank the leadership for guiding us in the right way. It's easy when you go through them. You don't have to make a decision. They make a decision for you. And I love that. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to you, Elder. Thank y'all so very much. If you need that information, you can send me a text or something. I can send you the WebEx. Uh, the Microsoft team is not going to be the UAW, but it will be the Microsoft team, and we will be recording it 
for later use also. It's it's just it's it's information we all need to have. Um, we had a uh, at our powertrain plant in Pontiac. We had one of our workers, 13 year old son, took his own life. And it's not, I guess we can't say we need to stop it because that's that's just obvious. You don't even need to say that. But we need to get more knowledge about it and be pay close attention to what people say, how people act. And this is going to, I think this is going to be a real good training for us. Uh, I took it before and I just wanted to make sure that all our chaplains have this information. It's just good information to give out. And with that, I'll give it back to you, Elder. Thank you, sir. We applaud you, uh, Brother Robert. Uh, give God the glory. Yes, sir. Jerry Carson, would you like to comment? Hallelujah. 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 Uh, just want to say to Brother Robert and, and Director English and and, and all of you, they uh, they do some excellent trainings in their in their conferences, uh, uh, you know, their regional meetings. They almost turn into a conference. I I'm blessed to come in and uh, be a part of it, and uh, they're always well attended. And it's it this uh, suicide, this spirit that's. We know where it comes from, and one thing that we must do is encourage those around us and bring awareness of what to do and what not to do, but the most important thing is to love on them and let them <coughs> know that they are loved. The, the three things I'm a survivor. And the three things that, that I remember, you lose hope, you want the pain to stop, and then you think your family's better off without you. And and that's a lie. That's, I think, the one of the biggest things that you can, whenever you're interacting, get them to a professional, uh, but don't leave them alone. Never leave them. And, yeah, you don't leave them alone. And you let them know how important they are and what they mean to you and their families. You speak life into them. It's and God, God does the rest, but we got to get them to the EAP rep, get them to uh, counseling them thing. But then we're going to be there for the spiritual support. I'm going to turn it back over to you, Elder, and thank you, Brother Robert, for all that you guys are doing. Every one of you chaplains are wonderful. And the people, our union, and the community, and the world is so much better because you're being a salt and the light, loving on people and meeting them where they are. Turn it over to you, Elder. Elder, like e Elder yes, if sir. I can, if I can piggyback on what Jerry said, because there's a letter that, and I, I, I read a letter once uh, uh, by a guy named James, James, I can't think of his last name, but he wrote a letter to his wife and he told her that I know you would be better off without me. And he had a he had a 16 year old daughter and he said that I think her name was Kelly in the letter. And he told Kelly that dad loves you, but you'd be better off without us. Uh, it was two years later that she ended up losing her home. And her daughter was strung out on drugs. So did they do better without him? No, they and, uh, uh, Brother Robert, you know, we have been down this road so many times uh, through our web -ex. Yes. But it cannot be expressed enough. Yes. We've got to remember that no day can be too long. No demands of your time too great. No efforts too hard. No case too pitiful. And all we try to do inside the UAW with this type of 
training that Region 1 is presenting is enhancing chaplaincy, awareness inside the UAW. See, when you look at the magnitude what God have trusted us with, when I say us, I mean all of us, he have trusted us with over a million souls. A million. When you look at the number of retirees, Sharon, and the number of active workers, let's just stay inside the UAW. And we'll be sprinkled with a little title inside our churches. To much that is given, much is required. Uh, I am going to be on that, uh, inside that Zoom meeting tomorrow. And I wish we could open it up to everybody. I do, because learning is continuous. It's not a destination. We can't say that we have arrived because I got to be a coordinator or a chairman. We must continue enhancing chaplaincy inside the UAW. We must. That's what a leader do. He sound the trumpet. That's what Brother Robert is doing. He didn't have to do that. He could have just had everybody come, but he found a way using the WebEx that we are on as an example. Some people just can't, and they in Detroit, but they just can't drive from here to there. But they can always get on their phone and connect. Am I telling the truth, Robert? Yes, sir, you are. You're preaching to the choir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But then look here, that five dollars you're gonna send me is P.O. box. No, I can't Please. adapt it to you. You should have it already. <laughs> I love you, man. Hey, look, let's get this roll call. Let's get this roll call. Region one, roll call, region one. Region one A, roll call, one A. Colleen Walker, Local 600, Ford Motor Company, retiree. Douglas Woolard, Local 898, Ford Motor Company, retiree. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Brother Linnell Chapman Sr., Local. Brother Linnell Chapman Sr., Local 600, Dearborn Staffing Chaplain's Chair. Local 600, vice, vice President, active. Region 1A, active. Amen. Sheila Sibley, local, six, local 6000, state of Michigan, an active retiree, and Chaplain C. Chair. Praise God. See you all. Tina Chapman, local 600, active, Dearborn Engine Plant. Raquel Thomas, State of Michigan, Walter Ruther, active. T. Todd Miller, Local 600 Ford Motor Company, Chaplain Chair, active. T. Todd Miller, T. Todd Miller. Yes, sir. You have an assignment. The Lord requires um, some service of you. I'm here to serve, sir. Um, I need Helene Walker and all of the chaplains in uh, Local 600 to rally and pray behind this brother because the Lord has elevated him to where his faithfulness is obvious. So we have given him the assignment, Sister Connie, of bringing the word, preaching the gospel. Monday morning, 
at the 37th Annual Chaplaincy Conference. This is a Joshua. And the Lord has spoken to us loud and clear. And this man come under the tutelage of Pastor Walker, Sister Connie. He's come from good stock. And he's yeah. a pastor. And the Bible tells us that the Lord says he shall give you pastors according to his own heart that will feed you with understanding and knowledge. The responsibility that you have, my brother, goes beyond chaplaincy. He parked you inside a church. We see the light. We see your work. And we just want to recognize it. So you have to work diligently to make it to the conference. And we're praying with Sister Walker and Sister Connie to make that happen. I believe God. I believe God. Sir, I'm humble and I accept the uh, assignment and I thank you. God bless you. Bless us with a prayer before we move forward, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to say thank you. We thank you for this wonderful day that you have allowed us to see. This is a day uh, that we're going to determine to be to rejoice and to be glad in it. Father, we thank you that you have not um, uh, 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 punished us according to our wickedness, but you have given us grace and mercy and allowed us to come boldly before your throne. So we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies toward us. God, we thank you for being a loving and kind father. We thank you for this powerful ministry within the UAW that allow us to connect together, God, and to be on fire for you. Now we're asking that you would anoint us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Allow us, oh God, to be your foot soldiers in the earth. Allow us to do what brings joy and pleasure to your heart, for we were created for your pleasure. So we're asking now that you would stir up the gift. Bless all those that are in leadership, God, to continue to lead us up the path of righteousness for thy name's sake. Allow us, oh God, to support one another, encourage each other, and pray one for another. And God, if there's anybody that's dealing with any sickness or disease or illness on this line and in our UAW membership, we pray that you would send your anointing yes. right now to destroy the yoke of the bondage of the enemy. Yes. And God, send healing, healing in the hem of the garment of our Lord and Savior. And we love you and we thank you. We praise you. We honor and we do adore you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 And, my, and our prayer is uh, as you away from your flock, from the sheep that God has placed you over, we pray that God will provide and He shall always provide. And that's for all the pastors on this call today that will be traveling to our conference away from their flock. Our prayer is that the Lord do what he's always done. He is and will always be forever and ever Jehovah Jireh. Did y'all hear what I just said? Stand up and be ready, huh? Yes. Yes. He will always provide. Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Let's salute this young pastor right now. Let's celebrate him. And as I say so many times, yes, Jerry Carson agreed to it. Sister Connie agreed to it. We ain't doing nothing. That's right. We ain't doing nothing. God is providing this chaplaincy <coughs> program. Hey, Elder. Jerry Carson. Uh, we're, we're so blessed with all those that God the, has brought and with our foundation, those that have went before us and all of the chaplains. Uh, it's just such a blessing to bring God glory. And I, uh, Vice President Browning just sent out the uh, his secretary just sent out the call letter. Sharon got it, got it taken care of, and 
her and Pam got it got it done and it's actually in the inbox now and it's out. Everything we need is in the house. So the call letter is out. Um, I'm overwhelmed by the time. Sister Sharon, we appreciate you. We love you from the top of our heart. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be of any assistance. Everything we need is in the house. We take it not for granted what God is doing. He's been doing it for the last 14 years under this watch. And I just, I just got to pause here for a moment and reflect. Sitting in the cafeteria, and a young lady from Region 1 came up to me and said, Elder, I got somebody I want you to meet. It was a young man, a Joshua. She introduced me to this young man. And he had walked away from the church. He never walked away from God. And he wanted to dance. That's all he wanted to do. He wanted to put some paint on his face and dance. He was a worshiper. We gave him a chance to dance, to praise at our conference. Little did we know God was opening doors for this young man. We weren't doing nothing. And now he goes and do his thing. I would love to try to reach that man. Jerry, I would love to see him walk back up, Connie, at our conference this year. I don't even know who he was. But somebody know who he was. I know who know who he was, God. I believe God. We sent an APB out on this spirit, requiring his services. I would give up some time myself if God can bring this spirit to this 37. There's something about the number three and the number seven. And I don't care what nobody tell me. We are in a revival state of presence. We can squeeze everything. We free time, call it whatever you want. But this year conference will be a revival for whosoever comes. If he come with the right spirit, Pastor Walker, that's why your mission is like never before. That's why Pastor Walker, Walker asked a simple question. I don't know if she believed I heard her, but Sharon, I did. And this is what Pastor Walker asked. Brother Herb, you think I can have the microphone? And I said, yes. But I reminded her because ain't no wolves creeping up into this conference on a word. I reminded her, be careful who you hand the microphone to. As long as she got it, we are okay. But you got to be where who want the microphone. Because we're doing a cleansing. We preparing the auditorium for this revival. And the common denominator, all of our speakers, has the title of the five 
full ministry of Jesus Christ. Apostle Gunny Davis is speaking Wednesday when the enemy is creeping in and saying free time. We're going to have free time, but we're going to give God his time. Y'all didn't hear that. We are going to have free time, but we're going to give God his time. And I was watching that. Well, well Gunny is a apostle. Thursday night, Bishop Carl Clark is handling the word. We're looking for a revival. And what's so important about Wednesday, Sharon, that's the day where we have the dinner. That's the day where we take the pictures and everybody's in their best. That's the night where the praises is going to flow. I'm going to ask Jerry Carson to ask the staff, because it's just now coming, if we can get another 30 minutes, because I see a Holy Ghost explosion. Is it okay for me to say that? Is it okay for me to say Holy Ghost explosion? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Okay with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, yeah. listen, listen to me. The listen to me. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all work Hallelujah. 40 hours a week. If you bless, you work 40 hours a week being retired because we don't get no break. Just because we retire don't mean we don't work. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So when you come to this conference, we ain't asking you for no $100 offering. We just want you to offer up a sacrifice unto the Lord. Amen. We Amen. are asking you to renew your mind. Rest in God. So I gotta have So what is a hospital? I gotta have some weapons. We gotta have Garney Davis. We gotta have Carl Clark. We must have the women's free on Tuesday. Because there's some issues Connie got to do with y'all that we don't even know about. I know growing up, Brother Carson, I ain't never, I've been in the church most of my life, I ain't never heard nobody say, my daddy prayed for me, had me on his mind, but I do hear and I have heard my mama pray for me, had me on her mind, took the time to pray for me. I told Satan, get thee behind. Y'all know behind. what I'm saying? I'm talking about the women of God. That part. That's you a better weapon. say that. Tuesday going, man, I can't wait till somebody walk in there Wednesday morning. They're going to feel the residue of what the women leave Tuesday night. I know it. I don't apologize. I am not Pastor Walker, Sister Ra Raquel Thomas. Both of you, I want to say this personally to you. Both of you. Elder Taylor 
is not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I just, I just, and whosoever want to agree with me, agree with me, you can. But I am not. Carl Clark says something that lifted my spirit. He said, bro, her, you got to remember. It was the religious people that hollowed out to Pallet, crucify, give us Barabbas, crucify. And that did something to my spirit. But to add a cherry on top, Sister Connie, Clark Clark said, them same people that hollered, crucify. A week before, was in the street hollering, Hosanna, Hosanna. Man, I felt so relieved of the burden of the attacks. God sent a messenger to remind me of last year conference thing. Everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Your chairman, Elder Taylor, I've been laying before the Lord. Other day, Connie, I was on a call and I could have swore I saw a rock coming in, but I dodged. I saw a fur duck, I dodged. But I stayed the course. I stayed the course because I love you. I know what God can do. I know what scripture means when it says when we go to do good. Evil is always present. That don't mean the individual is evil. That only means that the presence of evil is always with us. And when the watchman, when the watchman see trouble, and he don't alarm the sheets. That's on me. That's on Jerry Carson. That's on Connie Bobby. That's on Pastor Walker. That's on Pastor Miller. That's on Geneva Murray. See, I am not alone. Greater is he that is in us and me than the he that is in the world. I feel like running right now, y'all. I feel like running. I can't wait to June the 4th. Hallelujah. I can't wait to June the 4th. And I heard Sister Lisa Dukes. I heard Lisa Dukes say, June the 4th is going to be hard on her. I heard her say something in reference to her mama or something, but I heard it. I heard it in the spiritual realm. And the Lord said, rest assured, I got her covered. But to, to cover her plus some, June the 4th is the day that the women are going forward. So Connie going to take a moment to reflect on all the pain that you ladies are experiencing because of a love of a loved one. Loved one. Spur not. Cry out aloud. Let Lisa Deuce know we got her and the brothers up on the upper lodge. We're going to take time out and salute the women's of chaplaincy while we up on the hill. I'm through. Uh, I'm turning over this to Connie. We got 10 more minutes. She can do what she want to do. Let Jerry Carson uh, have words, Connie. Hey, man, I feel so good. Right? I got to release. I got to release and didn't know this morning when this little child, 
out of a sleep, I wrote the words down. I'm ready for sunshine. I'm ready for rain. I'm ready for joy. I'm ready for pain. It's a beautiful day. A child. A child. But the Lord says, except you be as these little ones. I'm done. Connie, please help me out. Amen. And with that, with that we move on and we'll have a few few words from Jerry Carson and then we'll ask uh Helene Walker to go ahead and take us out in prayer and song. Thank you, Connie. I'm ready for sunshine. I'm ready for rain. I'm ready for joy. I'm ready for pain. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to turn it back over to you, Connie. Out of the mouth of babes. Jesus said, let the children come. They know me. Love you. Love you, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity. It is a beautiful day. Holidays are beautiful because God is an awesome God. Father God, we come thanking you so much. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for who you are and everything that you have done, everything that you are doing and everything you're going to do. We can't wait for the conference. We can't wait to your glory, how you show us which way to go. You show us what to do and how to do it. We are waiting for your anointing to flow through us. Father God, we don't take for granted what you have given us, the charge that you have given us to do over this great union. You have brought us through many trials and tribulations. You have brought us through many troubles and things in our life, not only in the chaplaincy, but in our personal lives, in our country, in our homes, and even in our churches, oh God. You have brought us through. Oh, what a mighty God you are. You are awesome, God. You are mighty, God. You are our God, our Lord, our Savior. You are our healer. You are our deliverer. So, Father, we look to the hills from which comes our help. All our help comes from you. We don't have to worry because you will never leave us. You will never, never, never leave us nor forsake us. So, we thank you, God. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands on this WebEx. We lift our hands unto you because you are our God. We are going to thank you right now for everything and all things. We thank you and we praise you. We feel honored, oh God, that you have called us into this ministry of chaplaincy to, to go over your people. There are so many UAW members from all over the United States stakes of America, but you called us God. You called us to lead them, and, and we're so glad that our leadership is, is recognizing the power of the chaplaincy program, And but it's not because of who we are, it's because of who you are. You led us, you led us through marches down Woodward Avenue. You, you led us God over to uh, uh, to contract negotiations. You it was rough, but you was right there with us at the contract negotiation table when you brought us through that. This is going to be another rough year when the uh, voting for the president of the United States. But we ain't gonna worry because we know the God that we serve always comes through. It's a win-win situation. So Father God, we come now saying thank you. Just thank you, God. Ah, the song author said, you can't tell me, let me tell you what my God can do for me. We ain't a worry. We're down here, Lord, praying. We fight our battles different. Most people can't understand how we fight our battles just by speaking and calling on your great name. Just by calling your name, just by calling you, oh God. They said, wow, what kind of people is this? What kind of God is this that can do this? And is there anything too hard for God? Somebody asked in the scripture, is there anything? I say, no, there's nothing too hard for our God. 
That's why we stand behind him. We stand and we follow God, our Lord and our Savior, our healer and our deliverer, the one who raised the dead and healed the sick. He is the one that flung the moon and the stars up in the sky. He, he just flung them up there and they haven't fell out yet. Don't need no light bulbs. Don't need no maintenance. Don't need anything because God has ordained it to be so. So, Father God, we just lift you up. We thank you in the name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.